landscape of the places I've lost in the dark. For the places I've found in myself where we are, where the rest are stored, the places I find myself in, in silence. In the quiet crevice between here and the inside surfaces. It's in the mind where histories and chemistry come together to make a space of feeling. You've been here too. And maybe we could meet if only we could crawl into the same little dark fleshy space inside the chest, in the gut, behind the ear, between the brain and the skull. I want to talk to you about these places. I want a dialogue. In discussing these, poetry sometimes falls short, where words become staggered and flailing hand gestures take over descriptions. These places are real, as real as any park or island or sitting room. When you look at these, I hope you'll feel connected in allowing yourself to be alone in each space, in each silence. of encompassing voidness is that of both death and of creation. Out of nothing came all, and it is here where we find our own growth. There is fear in this black, where the crutch of outward spectations is silenced, and our own damages are left to be cleaned. In this liminal zone, you're left in the company of yourself, and of what spirits inhabit the void of perception. Become enshrouded, allowing the space itself to overwhelm you, and in the blindness, creation comes. This place is one of beauty. It's the hollow of the fish, the cave, the cocoon, the dark night of a soul where an alteration happens. There is no better mirror, for here we can see nothing, and through nothing comes the generation of deeper vision. From this, you can go with the comfort of knowing that a piece of this darkness is out there to bring you to a shore of light, to let you meet your demons, and to save you. The texture, a lot of it starts with a photograph, but then it's so heavily manipulated in Photoshop. Um, with blending modes and erasing portions and uh, changing the focus on things that it, it gets really distorted. So I use stuff from here, and then I'll also shoot fabrics and um, I'll use water or wood grain or like a distorted image of grass or hair or something. Um, so most of the stuff I'm texturally I'm trying to use right now has to do with some sort of body part or human element. Nice. It's like this kind of stuff is just like perfect. It's a tooth. In Hierophany, I am drawing from mythology and spirituality, specifically from how these subjects portray ideas of revelation, initiation rites, prophecies, mental and spiritual awakenings, and enlightenment experiences appear throughout cultures as a means of transforming groups or individuals, and thus bringing them into a higher level of mental or spiritual maturity. The Greeks experienced the blinding light in the Eleusinian mysteries, Native Americans tell of Orphan Boy and the Stone Boy who traveled to gain insight from solitary journeys. The Mesoamericans tortured their bodies to connect with the spiritual, and the Christian disciples were sent tongues of fire to connect with God. These instances and stories point to a desire to connect with the sacred, whether it is a sacred beyond humanity or a sacred within. Hierophany is a term used by religious scholar Merce Eliade to describe the link or opening point between the realm of the sacred and that of the profane or mortal. In this body of work, I am researching these stories and ideas, then drawing from their images, as well as those of my own dreams and interpretations, from which I form my compositions. The resulting images are inspired by these stories, 
Although not always referencing a specific tale or rite, each image presents a visual interpretation of these cases of hierophany.